All right, so what is going on guys? Now in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the best OBS um, settings for OBS Studio on Windows and 720p. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Now I just wanna say, I have an i7 and it really doesn't matter about the graphics card that much. It's more about the RAM and your processor. And it also depends if you're playing the game on the PC or if you're playing it or uh, like through your console. Because if you're playing it through your console um, and the, the only thing your PC is using is just OBS, you're not going to be using that much CPU or anything. So you don't really have to worry about having a good CPU. But if you're playing a game on the PC and streaming on your PC, that's when you're going to want to have a really good computer. Even my computer, an i7 3770K, GTX 770, even though the video card is a little bit old, I know, and 16 gigabytes of DDR3, my computer still struggles to get 60 FPS on Black Ops 3 Max settings. So, uh, so make when sure I'm... what you're doing and think about it. If you're streaming on your PC and playing the game, if you're streaming on your console and streaming on the PC, then you're probably just going to be fine. But if you're going to be playing a game on the PC as well, you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to give you some tips on that. But let's go ahead and jump right into this, guys. So here we are, OBS. I'm going to make this big for you guys. I know it, it's really weird. You can see all this stuff, but we're just going to have to deal with it. All right, so what we are going to be doing, um, let's go ahead and go to our settings. Now, in our settings, you don't have to change anything in general. Um, just make your streaming service, YouTube, or wherever you're streaming to. Now, output. This is where it gets into detail. So I would put it on advanced first off. Make sure this is on advanced up here. Uh, make sure your encoder is on X264 if available. And rescale output, I wouldn't change that. Now rate, CBR, uh, bit rate. Now I'm recording right now, so the bit rate is really high. But what I would go for, um, for 720, now, what you would do is take a stream, uh, like a uh, speed test, and see how many uh, megabits you have upload. Now, I have six, so I do around half of that download. But my upload, as you can see, is almost reaching six. So, what this pretty much means is all you want to do in terms of a bit rate, just go ahead and like a bit rate, just copy this. If you want to know your bit rate, just copy that, paste it in here, put a zero there, and there, there's your bit rate. Or actually, no, that's your bit rate right there. So that that's your full capability bit rate, what you have. Your full capability of a bit rate and what you can do. So this is your maximum bit rate. Um, I would not recommend using all of your upload speed just because then you won't be able to uh, like play games and surf the internet while you're streaming and stuff like that. Uh, but I would take this and I would maybe cut it in half and then put it in OBS or cut it in half and put it a little bit more. So like I said, what I do is I put mine around um, right here. Sometimes I'll push 4,000. But, you know, that's usually what I when do. I stream and I do around 3,500 bit rate when I stream and it works just perfectly. Now, if you have really, 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 really low internet, um, you can stream on one megabyte a second, but it just has to be super steady and you won't be able to do anything else but play solo games if you want to stream with one megabyte a second. But I would recommend having at least four upload if you want to do good 720. Um, but 720p, uh, in my opinion, I would do 3500 bit rate. Um, so you have some internet left over to, you know, play games and have it not lag and stuff like that. Now, CPU usage, this part right here. So what it, this pretty much means is the, the faster you get is the less it'll make your CPU, uh, it'll less stress it'll put on your CPU and the the pretty much the faster your game will be but the video is going to look worse the stream will look worse so like if i put it here if i put my settings here 
um, the video, the stream will look better, better, but it'll use a lot of my CPU. If I put it down here, it's going to use so much of my CPU. If I put it way up here, it's not going to look good and it's barely going to use any of my CPU. So I hope you guys understand that. I usually keep it around here somewhere a little bit higher. Um, I could probably put it down near medium when I'm like, uh, playing on the PS4 or something, but that is that. Now that's pretty much it for that area for 720p stuff. Now don't touch anything in audio. Now here, what I would do base canvas, keep it at your resolution output. I would change that to 720, uh, keep that on this one and 30 FPS or 60 FPS, depending on what you want to do. I would just do 30. I mean, you can do 60 if you want. It's all really up to you. Now also we have hotkeys here and everything. Um, nothing to do in there. You have advanced as well. Process priority. I would keep it above normal. So it's like the main thing on your computer that it's trying to use and blah, 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 and stuff like that. But I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else there is to say about OBS. It's really, really simple. I'm going to have a video really soon on how to do all this overlay stuff, how to do these notifications, how to do all, all of the sub and donator and audio and blah 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 etc stuff like that but that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to shock the like button and i will catch you guys in my next video peace out guys